para 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 beat more like taking it into account for sure beat i take it into account the demise of the petrodollar uh for sure however i live in canada right so beats question was uh, was this uh might as well give the question before i the, i jump into it right uh, so beats asking uh, because the question came up from uh bitcoin right if i would be buying bitcoin right now to thirty thousand, my reply was i would if i bought at 17 18 thousand i lighten the load a little bit first that's my personal take right but bitcoin sh can shoot up double go to a hundred thousand in a day or it can come down to twenty thousand max so the drop is the potential for drop is less than the potential for the gain right that being said beats question was this uh you're not scared of the downfall of petrodollar uh, and I mentioned that um, I don't do my financial decisions based on fear and beat replied saying more like taking it into account. And yes, I do take it into account, but I also have to take into account where I live, which I live in Canada, right? So Canada, 80 plus percent of our trade is done with the United States, right? And we're part of the collective West, the idiotic collective West ruled by World Economic Forum, puppets neoliberals and um, uh, uh, neo uh, neocons right that have already kicked into uh, the world war three war mode right and if you're in the collective west the united states petrodollar the u.s dollar will be the last currency to collapse relative to euro euro's done euro's just shit right you i y europe's europe's going into full-blown world war that's again world war three they started two world wars in europe the third one's kicking in right unbelievable at some point all these monarchs these aristocrats these oligarchs these world economic forum puppets and puppet masters they will have to be dealt with if we're going to avoid world war four okay because we're already in world war three mode right so i'm not sure how many chances you know the world wants to give the leaders in western europe how many times they have to send the world into a frenzy and annihilate hundreds of millions of people right at some point europeans for those of you that are in Europe, I know there's a fair bit of you here that are watching this live stream on from Europe. You're going to have to deal with them. You're going to have to deal with them. And this isn't, you know, sit on a negotiating table, deal with them. You're going to have to deal with them. Okay. And somehow bring about a new form of government where anyone like these people that wants to take power in your governments will be dealt with before they have any power okay that's that's my take and that goes for uh majority of western world really but from the collective west the u.s dollar is going to be the last one really standing so am i is the u.s dollar done yes but it's not going to be done in six months or a year it'll be done in 10 years it's going to we're going to see its effects we're seeing effects now to a certain degree but not it's not as profound as uh, most people are making it out to be right but in a year two years within five years yes and i think in that in that time frame we're if you were in the west there's certain places we have to put your funds and energy in other than just hoarding right uh this is an act of war on us as well right individually so we have to uh do whatever we can based on our means right some people unfortunately are thinking that oh they're going to take everything they have and they're going to put it on bitcoin and they're going to be very rich when the petrodollar collapses or western currencies or fiat currencies collapse that's a fool's game okay that's a fool's game that what that that played out started really 10 12 years ago 2010 2008 9 10 11 12 
at the beginning stages of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is now should be one of the arsenals that you have at your disposal to protect yourself. There are other places you must have your money, your funds, right? Food, community, health, family, housing, garden. Okay. As long as you have already covered some of your bases with Bitcoin, precious metals, and whatever else, right? This is a multi multi pronged attack on us, and there isn't one tool in our toolbox that we have to really focus on, right? You could have the best hammer in the world, man. You don't got no nails, you can't build a house, okay? And if you got nails, you don't got a hammer, you're gonna have a hard time building a house, right? Make sure you're diversified, which is one of the main mantras that I've been talking about since day one of creating personal finance stuff, right? Okay, that's my take, that's my take, right? 